Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jennifer. Hi. <laughs> Today we've got a little bit of a different format. We are going to be jumping right into the product. As you might have noticed, no intro, none of that. We're going to be reviewing the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow in Color of Dreams. And if I could open it, I will show you the shade. There you go. I have it on my face right now. So let's get into all the details. So today is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Leap uh, Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow. Now I got this in the color of dreams. It comes in a beautiful uh, little compact, let's see the shade in the mirror. Looks very much like her other Charlotte Tilbury designs like her bronzer. You can see the, the Art Deco kind of um, etching on the front. Really, really pretty. And this is supposed to be a lip and cheek product. So today what I did is I went ahead and put on the, lost my, okay. So I put on the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. I have this in Three Fair. And the Three Fair is actually a good fit for me because it's a really light foundation. It's got sort of a glow to it. I could use the two. The three kind of warms up my skin a little bit, so I, I, I tend to go towards the three, although I do have the two as well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just jump right in to the product. That's what it looks like, that's the shade. I will swatch it. We'll see, oh, it's very, it's very emollient, it's like sticky. I have the Light Wonder down, I have the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I do have on the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in Fair. I know it you know, doesn't look like a lot because the Fair on me is pretty fair, um, but it warms up my skin. I didn't wanna do anything to really take away from the blush, so I thought we would keep my face pretty neutral and we'll see what we think. Well, I can say it goes on really nicely, blends out beautifully. It kind of has, like I said, an emollient sort of sticky feel, but not jelly-like, more like, what's the, well, like a lip balm, kind of? Yeah, more like a lip balm. I can say I like the shade for me. Put a little on my nose. I like the shade because it's um, pinky, but not too pink. It kind of has a cooler undertone to it. It's not too dark on me. Uh, I was a little concerned that it might be, you know, the, the, there was two shades. The other shade was a darker shade, a more plummy shade. I think that looks really nice. Really natural, really pretty. Feels good on the skin. I think you could definitely build it up. I don't, you know, I think I I have such light skin. I don't want to put too much on because I don't want it to look to look like I have a fever. Um, yeah, I think that's really nice. It feels nice. Like I said, it's got like a tacky, sticky feeling, but it's not jelly-like at all. It reminds me of a lip balm which technically it is. So we'll go ahead and put it on the lips. Oh, it's really pretty on the lips. Not that it's not pretty on the cheeks, I just mean, huh. That's a really nice shade. I'll bring you in a little bit closer so you can see it uh, a little better. Now you're in close, you can see it a little better. Oh, I really like that. I've had a lot of luck with blushes lately. <laughs> I just did a review of the Patrick Ta blush and She's So LA and I had held out on that one for quite some time because I thought it was gonna be too deep and I absolutely love the way it looks. I think the older I get, to, to be honest, the cream blushes are becoming more, cream products in, in general. My skin is very dry. Plus I just think as you get older, not everybody, but I think the cream products are more forgiving. That looks really nice. 
Very natural, very pretty. I might even get the other shade because it's very sheer. So I'm gonna compare it to a few other cream blushes uh, slash <laughs> lip products that I have. Um, I have the Westman Atelier in Chouchette. I actually want to get a lot more shades of the Westman Atelier. Uh, Westman Atelier. If you have seen my Clean Beauty video, I really am enjoying pretty much everything by them. I really want the iPods, but they have been sold out. Um, so that's in Chouchette. I will put my hand up in a second. Um, that's Chouchette. This is the Fenty in Rose Latte. Definitely a deeper browner shade than the Chouchette. The Chouchette is more of like a peach, I would say. It's really pretty. Um, if you haven't tried the Westman Atelier brand, I, re I really would encourage, I mean, I, I love pretty much everything I've ever used by them. The Tower 28, which is also a product that can be used on the lips. Technically anything can be used on the lips, but it's marketed as being able to be used on the lips. That's the shade that's in Magic Hour. Let's see, this is the Care Weiss. Another clean beauty brand in Blossoming. This is a very pinky shade. But it's sheer. A lot of these are very sheer, so they don't they don't uh, come out too pink. That's the blossoming. The Patrick Ta, and what I'm gonna do for the Patrick Ta, I'm just gonna do the cream side for you guys, because I don't want to be unfair when I put this on and you know have it have the powder. So we'll just do the cream part, and this is in She's So LA. It's definitely a browner base, but don't let it scare you because if you watch my video, you'll see it looks really beautiful on. Okay, so just to go back, the first one is the Westman Atelier in Chouchette. This is the Rose Latte, the Fenty. This is the Tower 28 in Magic Hour. This is the Cure Weiss in Blossoming. This is the Patrick Ta in She's So LA. And now we'll put on the Charlotte Tilbury so you can see it in comparison. I don't think I have anything. These are the cream bronzers, that, um, cream blushes that I have. And I don't think any of them look like that. That's Charlotte Tilbury. The closest? Hmm, maybe the Chouchette, but not really. I mean, I guess maybe the Tower 28 is close, the Tower 28 in Magic Hour, but this one has more of a sheen and more of like a bronziness, even though it's like a pink, it's like a bronzy pink. It's really beautiful. I really, really like it. I'm also gonna swatch it next to the, the original Pillow Talk. Now, this is, of course, a powder. This is not a cream, but I wanted you to see it next to the Pillow Talk blush. This is the original one. This is not any of the deeper shades. That's the original Pillow Talk right there. And then this is the the new shade, the new cream in Pillow Talk Color of Dreams. So you can see, I mean, this is really a unique shade. The closest is probably the Tower 28, but this has a, a sheen and a, I don't know, like a, it's just really pretty. I wish I could, it's just, it's slightly different than the others, which I mean, is a good thing, right? You don't want them all to be exactly the same. That 
what would be the point of, of purchasing it. But it's a really pretty shade. I think it's buildable. It's not, it doesn't, it's obviously not drying. It's very emollient. It's not as pinky or purpley or plummy as it looks in the pan, at least not on me. On me, it kind of has almost like a little bit of bronze to it that looks really nice. If you look at it next to the Patrick Ta, which I did the other day, you can see the Patrick Ta is much, much um, bronzier. But you can see like this has a little bit of bronze undertone to it, which I think looks really nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I really, I really like that. Um, what other questions would you guys have? It has an 18 month lifespan, which is pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, again, it looks nice on the lips, feels comfortable. The, on the lips on me, it goes more of a pink, but it's a really pretty shade. It, I don't usually wear pinks, but this one has, like I said, like it's a little bit of bronze to it, like a little bit of shimmer. So it doesn't look pink, pink. It doesn't look like plum. It looks, I don't know, sort of like it has a little bit of brownish undertone, which is working really well with my skin tone. I think it looks really lovely. It feels comfortable on, it's not sticky on at all. Like at all, my lips don't stick. Um, this is dried down nicely and feels good on my skin. No, it doesn't have a scent to it. I think it's really nice. It's a really good product. If you like cream bronzers and you're looking for something that has a little bit like of a glow to it, I think this is a nice choice. It obviously, I mean, it works well on my skin tone. I think it would work well on up to maybe a light medium. I think if you went over medium or medium above medium, I think this would be too light. I don't know what the other, how deep the other shade is. So I would say if you're a darker skin tone, this one is probably too light for you. But if you're pale, paler than me, all the way to like medium, I think this would work. It's so hard to tell, but I mean, I, I, I think, because like I said, I just put a tiny bit on, I didn't put a ton on, I think you could build it. Um, and it looks really nice on me, it gives me a nice flush. But I think it's deep enough that you could you know, you could darken that out if you wanted to. Here's the original Pillow Talk, like I said, in powder. That one's gonna be tough to uh, to deepen. So I think this one is, is, it definitely has some pigment to it. You could, you don't wanna share it out as much. I think you could do that. Um, so those are my thoughts. I really like the product. It's, it's a beautiful shade. It looks really nice on me. It went on really easily. It's probably, I mean, like, it's great for this time of year, especially, or, Frankly, any time of year now that we're all indoors and you're just looking for something quick, like you could literally just spot this on your cheeks and give yourself a little bit of color. I think it would look really nice without actually any other makeup on. And then you could just throw it on your lips, which is a nice, you know, that's a nice product. A two-in-one product is always nice. Um, when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury, I have a pretty extensive collection. In fact, I was going through it when I was preparing for this video. So I have the Wonder Glow Primer the Hollywood Flawless Filter, the Wonder Glow Foundation, which I have on my face now, the Airbrush Foundation, and the Magic Way Concealer. I do have the Magic Way Concealer on my eyes. I have more than 20 of the, her lipsticks, about six of her lip liners, a whole bunch of eyeliners, a whole bunch of quads. So if you guys are interested in, in bronzers, which I've done, if, you got, if you're interested in me doing something about her entire collection, or my entire Charlotte Tilbury collection, I can certainly do that. Um, for the purposes today though, I thought we should just focus on the blush. It's out there, it's available now, and I thought a lot of you might be interested in a comparison with some of the other uh, cream blushes that at least I have in my collection. But I have to say guys, overall, I think it's really pretty. I mean, do you need it? No, nobody needs, um, Nobody needs another bronzer. I mean, nobody needs another cream blush. But if you were in the market for a cream blush and you were thinking about which ones to buy, this is really nice. It's really pretty. It's very natural looking. It gives a really nice flush. I wouldn't say, like I said, 
that if you're looking for something like the Patrick Ta has more of a, like a glow to it. If you watch my video, you'll see what I mean. This one is much more of like a natural blush, but I think it really does look beautiful. I, I would be lying if I said I didn't really like it. I was on the fence about it and I actually am very happy I bought it because I, I could see me using this a lot. So, um, Charlotte Tilbury usually does a pretty good job, I have to say. I, rarely disappointed uh, in her products. So, And on the lips, again, it still feels really nice. So, yeah, I think it's great. So thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Let me know if you like this new format without the intro, just jumping into the product, trying to condense the video down a little bit. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I really appreciate it. Hit like, hit subscribe if you are so inclined, and I'll see you again in another video really soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.